All right. And here's my bonus question for you, <laughs> Dr. Walter. So where do we see Optimus first, in our households here on Earth or in space? Uh, actually, I, I think we will probably see it in our households first. And the main reason I, I say that is that um, it just seems like it's taking us a little bit longer to get up there. Than, you know, I, I don't know how soon before we really have a, a base in the moon. You know, it's... Everyone's hoping, oh, we should be able to do it in, in five years. Artemis is going to land in, what was it, 2026? And even then, I'm like, mm, yeah, yeah. we'll, we'll I guess, see. I guess it's, it's, it's down to the bureaucrats in America, right? Right. How it comes down. How soon can they allow Starship to fly? <laughs> right. First that, get, getting that. And then, you know, the first couple of missions are just more or less about boots and flags. And, you know, when are they going to actually be putting any sort of infrastructure? So it's really not going to be until the 2030s that you start to see any real serious infrastructure being built there. And I would think by the 2030s, you would uh, already be seeing uh, humanoid bots uh, appearing in, in the households around that time. And, and you know, I, I saw that you had a, a pretty good um, discussion yesterday, I think with uh, yeah. Brad Adcock, that, who is um, the, the CEO of, um, of Figure. Figure, which is yeah. uh, another, uh, they've been around 18 months and also announced a humanoid robot and, and yeah. have their, it's kind of their first designs out there. And I think just by the end of the decade, you know, would, would be when you begin to see the first ones in the house. And of course he was like, not exactly being sanguine. He's like, oh, he's out, you know, we don't have any data. It's going to take a long time. You know, it's like, won't be till the end of the decade. Well, I'm looking around, I was like, hmm, it's almost end of 2023. End of the decade's not that far off. I mean, depending on how you look yeah. at it, it's five yeah. or six years or seven years, you know, yeah. cons consider 2030 yeah. to actually be part of yeah. this decade and not the next and, one. And that too, at the, at, that's at the current rate of development. That's at, that's at the current rate. And and I think um, it, it will happen really quick because what everyone is, is saying is like, oh, we don't have any data sets. The problem is just like yeah. this dearth of data sets. Like, well, yeah, we had problems like that going back in, in the early 2000s with, uh, these these others that that we were trying to use these large language models with, and eventually they got to figure it out. So what's going to happen is that people are going to be developing these very large data sets very quickly, and you'll start to get those um, those neural nets that they can begin to build on. Because their complaints like, well, yeah, we can train these things really fast, but you just can't start yeah. blank. If we get something that's already kind of partially filled in, then we can start going really really quickly. And so. Uh, doing a lot of simulations and everything else will help speed that up. Getting real world training data will help speed those things up. And if he thinks it's like, oh, you know, until 2030, that's not that far away that you yeah. begin to see it. And and that means that they are getting very, very smart at that point. Because I, I really yeah. agree with what he kind of talked about. It's like, you're not going to see it in the houses right away because yeah. um, it's so unstructured in there. We just don't know what we're really going to expect within factories it's all very structured and it makes sense there. The total addressable market in the factories is so huge anyways, who cares about yeah. the home market? There are people yeah. that would be willing to pay for that. And we know it's controlled, we know it's structured, we can get the training data. And then once we get the training data from that, it'll go on there. And this is gonna be, it's very good, which means that it's something that's just gonna start paying for itself very, 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 yeah. very quickly. It's yeah. not gonna be the company is gonna be putting billions and billions and billions of dollars and nothing coming out. It's gonna be yeah. that, once you start putting it in the factories and that robot starts being productive, yeah, it's paying for itself right there, yeah. which th then allows you to bootstrap and do a little bit more. 